States. Like, I have no interest in learning how to fly FPV. I'll put that out there right now. I don't care. I don't have the time or patience or a desire to weld or solder things to boards and take apart cameras and casings and, and make my own FPV drone. And the people that can do that, more power to you because I am not that person. The FPV drones that people build and customize before you saw this come out onto the market are very different than this DJI FPV. Is that correct? It's like a flying motherboard you have to solder yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a great way to put it. That's where this comes in and makes it fun and, and, and way easier. I'm late for a podcast, as usual. But today, it's not about the podcast. We're talking about DJI's new drone. It has been a long time since I've walked up this sidewalk. Like, I don't even think COVID was a thing. There it is, folks. Oh, remember these stairs. Damn it, Maddie. Still got it. We don't actually need it, but... Are you serious? <laughs> I just carried it up all those stairs? I totally forgot that, that you... Tyler had another EOS R still. I said that. I said to borrow the... Are you serious? No, yeah, we, let's, let's pull it out. Are you, <laughs> is this for the vlog or are you actually serious? I'm actually serious. Oh my, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> Yo, you have so many. <laughs> they Why like, do you have so many? I don't, I don't know, I just crash them, and so you gotta buy some more, and then you no, crash them more, and then you... <laughs> I thought you are not supposed to crash drone. But check the difference, like, this feels so homemade, and then DJI, it's like, oh yeah, that's, Dude, this that's a drone. this one looks good. But plus, plus, okay. This... Come to the bathroom, come to the bathroom. <laughs> this is my charger. What the heck this is This is my charger for FPV drone batteries, and the batteries will last you like three minutes. That is insane. You have to plug in calculations. That looks like something from 24 that Jack Bauer would try yeah. to like yeah. defuse. No. Tell me where the bomb is! Oh, zero chance. Yes, it's like, no. Let's just no. change the no. settings. Zero chance. I would normally fly through those no problem, Just but do it. I'm like, do it. I'm really sketched you. out right now. All right, we're going through. We're committing. Ah! You did it! You did it! You did it! I almost crashed it. I was close. John Wars! John Wars! John Wars! <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Watch this. <laughs> it just shoots that supersonic shoots into the sky. <laughs> that was awesome. This is for scientific purposes because this isn't my drone. I want to see what happens if you put it upside down and you press the pause button. This is a closed field, safe airspace. I'm sorry if this crashes your drone, Peter. Okay. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> what? Whoa, it's that safe. Looks so it's cool. so good. No way. <laughs> well, he's got the goggles on. Would be like a great time to like pants him or. Um, prank him in some sort of fashion. Wet Willie going Yeah, on. he would never know. It's crazy. He's in a whole other world right now. Where a normal DJI drone can go uh, 75 kilometers an hour, I think that goes about 150. So it's just insane power. And the, the elevation and drop rate is like nothing I've ever flown before. Instant. Instant. Okay, so be, be really careful with this. You got this, you got this. Wow, it's uh, all like right. Just, just take it easy with it. The oh, micro oh, adjustments oh, on the controllers, oh, micro okay, adjustments. Okay. okay. Oh. If, you, if you get in a crash, press oh. the bu pause button. Oh, the... how do you stop? How do you pause? Do I have to be looking around or can I just stay in one spot? 
<laughs> okay, it's not VR. Do I pinch? Do I pinch these? That's how the pros do it. Ready for this? I'm gonna go through and, yeah. and, oh, drone wars, drone wars. <laughs> Betcha that was a really good shot there. Did it look like I was flying? So I've only crashed this drone about six times. <laughs> so it's surprisingly robust. Yeah. So you crashed this six times. I've gone through five propellers and in one, one leg. <laughs> so it's pretty strong. And this is your first time ever flying FPV. Yeah, it walks you through it really, really easily. Thank you for your expertise. You were really good at flying that FPV. Dude, I was so good. So good. I'm <laughs> impressed. <laughs> so as you guys know on this channel, I'm not I'm not big into FPV. You've never seen me specifically make any videos on FPV. I've never even flown an FPV drone. This was the first FPV drone that I've ever owned. So what's interesting about this DJI Flash, one is what it sounds like when you turn it on. So Gabriel here was flying the drone for the past week and a little bit, and he came up with a few conclusions that I thought was good to share with you. Yeah, I've never flown FPV before, um, so I liked how you can go step by step by step. You can go beginner mode, which goes like 12 kilometers an hour, flies like a normal drone. You can throw into sport mode, so you can go about 75 kilometers an hour, but still same things. Feels familiar to a normal drone. Then you can go manual one mode, so you're fully manual, but you can't do any flips, you can't go upside down or anything, and then you can just go full manual mode, and then it's just full insanity, and you can do anything you want. So typically when you're flying uh, any other drone, your camera is always level and no matter what you do while the drone is tilted the camera is always level with an FPV You can be upside down. You can be flying up. You can be flying down the cameras Going in that direction you can lose your bearings really easily Typically with an FPV drone you crash with this drone You can just hit the pause button no matter which orientation it is it levels itself out properly pauses Almost instantly. It's amazing how fast it is and you just you can recover from there and then keep on going now this thing this here motion controller I want to say this is a more intuitive way to fly an FPV drone, especially if you've got the goggles on. It's pretty neat. So this triggers your acceleration. If you move left, the drone moves left. If you move right, the drone moves right, up, down, etc. So you're actually controlling the flight. I was gonna say like you would if you're flying a jet or a helicopter, but what the hell do I know about flying a jet or a helicopter? It's more of a video game. Uh, it's an entirely different experience. The reason why I think FPV is so cool and so interesting and why it's so trendy and exciting right now is because we've been getting used to drone footage. It's almost like commodified if you think about it. You see a dope drone clip and you're like, yep, that's a drone shot. But now you see an FPV shot and you think, wow, that looks so good. Probably because less people are doing it and that might change now that this drone is coming out. Now it's exciting again. It's different, it's exhilarating, it's a new skill to learn, a new way to fly, a new way to enjoy watching content, making content, and that's what's so exciting about FPV. Now again, I am a total, total noob when it comes to FPV, so I thought coming at this video from an angle where I was just someone experiencing this for the first time, this is how I would imagine you would be experiencing it as well if you're just getting into FPV. Now if you are already someone who's into FPV, maybe you're already amazing at it, maybe you're just getting into it, you know the battery life is garbage. You saw the charger that Maddie has that usually charges these batteries and they're lipo batteries. They're very difficult to maintain. So being able to now have an, a battery this size that will give you 20 minutes instead of three or four minutes on a classic FPV build. So this is a lot, lot better, more regulated. It's just, uh, easy. The other nice thing is because they're DJI and they span many types of cameras, the video footage, they borrowed the image stabilization from their action cams, put it into here. So instead of like you a lot of, uh, see a lot of times from FPV, the footage can be really jittery and shaky. It's super smooth. DJI also came out with a simulator. That so I would highly, highly recommend practicing on the simulator because that's how you're going to get good at this without smashing your drone and wasting your money, right? These are very, very, very rigid and they'll take a beating, but they'll only take so much of a beating before you're buying another one. What did you not like about it? Like what was hard? Uh, there's definitely a learning curve that when you when you turn, your whole field of view shifts. So you can get a little uh, kind of car sick, sort of takes a little bit to get used to. It, it's just a different experience. It's fun, it's exciting, it's new, but it's definitely different. I think it's the best way to get into it as an inexperienced FPV pilot. All right guys, that is it for me. Hope you enjoyed your first look. Let me know in the comments below. Are you already into FPV? Is this something that interests 
interests you? Is this going to be your foray into this new world of drone cinematography, which is, let's be honest, FPV is, is pretty damn cool. Uh, that's it for me, guys. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, and I'll see you in the next video. I bid you good day. Thank <laughs> you.